Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching Organic Name Reaction Mechanism. In today's lecture, we will study about Claisen Condensation Reaction. If you want to see more name reaction mechanism, then you can go to our playlist of Organic Name Reaction Mechanism, where you will get several other reactions. Okay, so see here what is Claisen Condensation Reaction. In this reaction, we take ester. Okay, ester with alpha hydrogen atom and it should have at least two alpha hydrogen atoms when an ester having alpha hydrogen atoms is treated with a strong base it means an ester with at least two alpha hydrogen atom in the presence of a strong base undergoes self condensation reaction and it produces beta to ester it means at the beta position of the ester we are getting a keto group. So, this type of reaction is known as the Claisen condensation reaction. For example, if we are taking ethyl acetate, what is ethyl acetate? CS3COOC2H5. Okay. It's two molecules. Suppose we are taking its two molecules and it is in the presence of a strong base like ethoxide. Okay. And secondly, it is treated with the acid. So, in the presence of a strong base, it will form a beta keto ester. It means CS3CO, CH2, COO, C2H5. Now, you can see here at the beta position, there is keto group. Okay. So, it is called beta keto ester. A general reaction, if we want to write a general reaction, we can write as R dash CH2, COO, C2H5. Its two molecules will condensate in the presence of strong base it means sodium ethoxide the second reaction is always with the acid okay so what we are getting r dash ch2 co ch r dash co c2h5 okay so this is a general beta keto ester okay now see its mechanism how this reaction is happening see what is happening in this reaction see this is our CS3COOC2H5, ethyl acetate. It means it is our ester that is having alpha hydrogen atom. Okay, where is the alpha hydrogen atom? This one. This is the alpha hydrogen. So, we can write CH2COOC2H5. And one of the alpha hydrogen we can write in this manner. This is our alpha hydrogen. Okay, this one. So, now what will happen? There is alpha hydrogen atom. Okay, and this is ethoxide ion, C2H5O-. This is our strong base. So, what it can do, it will abstract this hydrogen. Okay, this hydrogen is abstracted by this base. It will react at it and this is an equilibrium reaction. So, what we are getting? We are getting C2H5OH plus CH2COOC2H5. And there will be negative charge here. This is the lone pair of electron. What it is called? It is called the enolate anion. Okay. Now you can see there is a charge, negative charge. There is a lone pair of electron. So it is acting as a powerful nucleophile. Now it will attack on a electrophilic position. It means where there is a deficiency of electron at that position it can attack. So where it will attack? Actually, there are two molecules. Actually, we are taking ethyl acetate. Okay, so several molecules are present here. This one is the first step. So, in the second step, what will happen? See here, suppose this is the another molecule of ethyl acetate. We can represent it in this manner. Okay, so actually, see here, this is the carbonyl group, and we know that the carbon atom of this carbonyl group is electrophilic. It means here will be positive charge, okay, and here will be negative charge, right? So, what can happen? This enolate anion, CH2COOC2H5, that is acting as our nucleophile, will now attack at this position, okay? So, what we are getting? We are getting another anion in this manner. This will have negative charge, okay? And this is OC2H5 and this will be 
CH2, COO, C2H5. Now you can see here, there is a new bond formation. This is the new bond that is formed between two carbon atoms. Okay. So, actually it is a condensation reaction because here a new bond is formed between the two carbon atoms of two different molecules. Okay. And this anion that is formed here, this will be called oxonium ion. Why we are calling it oxonium ion? Because there is a negative charge on the oxygen atom. Okay. So, this will be our second step. Now, see what happens in the third step. See here. In the third step, this oxonium ion, I am writing it here, CS3, CO minus, CH2, CO, C2H5, O, C2H5. You will see in the book all the reactions simultaneously. But for your convenience, I am writing it in the step by step process. Okay. So, this charge will go here, right? And this bond will break down. Okay. So, this OC2H5, it means ethoxide, negatively charged ethoxide ion will get removed. The whole steps are reversible. So, it is in the state of equilibrium. So, we are getting this one. Beta keto ester. Okay. And we are getting C2H5 O minus ion. Ethoxide ion again. Now, see here, we are getting here beta keto ester, but it is not the complete reaction. Okay. What is happening actually in the fourth step? This beta keto ester will again react with this because here this is CH2, this is slightly acidic, and this is nucleophilic. Okay. There is negative charge, so it can again react with this. So, what will happen in the fourth step, what is happening, this CS3, C double bond O, CH2, COO, C2H5. It means our beta keto ester is now reacting with this ethoxide ion. Okay. And this ethoxide ion will abstract this hydrogen. Okay. It is abstracting again this alpha hydrogen. This is alpha hydrogen and this is being abstracted. So, what we are getting, CS3, C double bond O, CH minus C double bond O, OC2H5. Actually, this is again the enolate anion and it can get resonance stabilized. Okay, it can get resonance stabilized. So, we can write its resonance stabilized form like this. In the next step, this whole thing that we are getting, these both reactions can be written in this manner. Actually, there is sodium present in the solution. So, what will happen? We are getting a salt like this. Here will be positive charge and this will be sodium. Okay. Or we can write it in this manner. CH3 C double bond O, CH, C double bond O, OC2H5 minus Na plus. Okay, so we are getting actually the sodium salt. So now what we have to do now? Actually, the whole solution is treated with the acid. Okay, and we are taking acidic acid. So what will happen? This CS3, C double bond O, CH, C double bond O, OC2H5 minus Na plus is treated with CS3, COOH, acidic acid. Okay. So, as a result, we are getting beta keto ester, this one. So, this is the ultimate step of the reaction. Okay. In this manner, the whole mechanism will get complete. Now, there is a twist with this reaction. This reaction seems to you very easy, but actually, it is not so easy. Actually, we are seeing here the equilibrium conditions. See here. In this step, you can see here, there is the equilibrium. Okay. 
you can see this is equilibrium and this is the enolate anion that is formed and it is resonance stabilized similarly in the step 4 you have seen enolate anion that is resonance stabilized so actually this equilibrium will remain as it is the reaction does not shift in the forward direction for this what you have to do you will have to take the excess of base we need excess of base so that the reaction can proceed in the forward direction secondly this is the reason we can do this reaction only with the esters with at least two alpha hydrogen atoms okay if the ester has only one alpha hydrogen atom then this equilibrium will not shift in the forward direction if it has two alpha hydrogen atoms then what can happen this second alpha hydrogen atom can be abstracted by the base see here in the fourth step you can see here this second alpha hydrogen atom is being abstracted by the base okay so if there is second alpha hydrogen atom then it can be abstracted by the base and the reaction can proceed in the forward direction but if there is only one alpha hydrogen atom then we can not do this reaction with only a small amount of base or with a small amount of strong base actually we need some more strong base suppose we are taking very strong base like triphenyl sodium it is a very strong base then the reaction can proceed along with the single alpha hydrogen atom esters so this is a strong base this can proceed the reactions for the esters with only one alpha hydrogen atom why because actually it works in two ways first function of it is it can abstract the weakly acidic alpha hydrogen atom irreversibly okay suppose this is the reaction ch3 ch ch3 okay coo c2h5 now you can see here there is only one alpha hydrogen atom present this one is the one alpha hydrogen atom and this can be abstracted by this strong base we are taking triphenyl sodium this is a strong base so it will react with it and it can abstract this weakly acidic alpha hydrogen and it can proceed the reaction like this okay it can form its enolate ion and it is converted to c6h5 whole thrice ch and the second function of it is that it can remove the equilibrium product we can see see here ch3 whole twice ch coo c2h5 if we are seeing the complete reaction if it the reaction is carried out in the presence of c6h5 whole thrice c minus then what we are getting we are getting ch3 whole twice ch c double bond o c ch3 ch3 coo ch3 this will be our beta keto ester okay and as a side product we are getting c2h5 oh this we have seen that we are getting ethyl alcohol as the side product but actually this base can react with this product okay so it will remove this product how it is reacting c6h5 whole thrice cna plus c2h5 oh and it is forming c6h5 whole thrice ch plus c2h5 ona it means our side product is now getting removed and we know when this product is being removed the reaction will proceed in the forward direction okay so actually when we are taking a very strong base then the reaction proceeds in the forward direction and there are more chances of reaction to be done so this reaction can be done with a single alpha hydrogen atom only in the presence of a strong base but if we are given a ethoxide base then we should need a ester with at least two alpha hydrogen atom okay so this is the mechanism of Claisen condensation. Now, what is its application? Actually, its application is in cross Claisen condensation. So, what is cross Claisen condensation? This we will see in our next video. What is cross Claisen condensation reaction? What is Claisen rearrangement? Several other reactions we can see in our next lectures. Okay. And if you are liking my videos, 
If you want some more videos like this, you can comment me. If you have any more queries, you want some more videos, then also you can comment me. And please share these videos with more and more students. Okay, thank you.